what you'll need for this project is a 9 gram servo, a 1N4001 diode, and two JST connectors. I like the 9 gram Tower Pro style servos because they run for under $3 shipped usually and they work perfect for this and they're small. After that, connect it up to your radio system, center the servo, uh, so, and then go ahead and unplug it after that. After that, remove the four screws of the case, remove all the gears so that just the potentiometer is poking out. Put a little dab of hot glue on the potentiometer so it will not rotate and will be permanently put in that position. Alright, so at this point go ahead and remove the bottom part of the servo housing and desolder the two wires to the motor. Just go ahead and remove the motor on the 9 gram servos, it's just pressed in there so just lift it out of there with pliers or something. After that, go ahead and solder the 1N4001 diode to either of the motor wires with the silver band facing away from the servo wire. Then the other end will go to your positive output wire. Solder your negative output wire to the other motor wire. After that, go ahead and reassemble the servo, and I usually shoot hot glue in the input and output wire leads just to make sure that the there's a bit of a strain relief and it also helps to waterproof your receiver controlled switch. Then after that go ahead and plug the servo receiver controlled switch into your auxiliary channel and then the output to your LED lighting setup. The output of the switch will be receiver controlled voltage so you may need resistors depending on your particular lighting setup for everything to work properly. If you have any questions, post in the comments below and I will answer as best as I can.